It is like this sometimes. The truth is sublimely simple, it is here. But we don't want it yet. Somehow it feels like maybe there are very subtle strands of somebody who came to this retreat. And I don't want to leave with any of those but that can strands. But that can be there. That can be there. You cannot, you cannot take the spots out of the moon. Hmm? Still, it doesn't affect its light. You follow? Hmm? You cannot go, so you can you get all the dust from the earth? Even from Montessaji, we're trying, we cannot. <laughs> Still, life goes on and we are happy, full, full life. <laughs> hmm? So, these things have caused many troubles because we see them and we think, ah, I don't want to, I don't want them to be there. But what's the problem with them being there? Are they more here than you? As long as the body is here, now listen, as long as the body is here and uh, the vital force and consciousness, some thought activity will manifest. And it is good so that you discern that it's okay, it can be there. Or whatever. You know what makes it there? Your attention makes it there. If you have no interest in it, it is not there. Have we figured this out yet? You have no interest in a thing, it doesn't register in consciousness. It's as though it doesn't exist. And where does the interest come from? Maybe somebody, we are again told, that thing should not be there. And then now you put all your energies turned to get rid of something, which is effectively trying to straighten the curled tail of a dog, they say. The dog has got curled tail, you're trying to straighten it out, then it curls back up again. Straighten it out. You put it in a tube. You take it out. Why waste time? So this is something it is worth pointing out that this tendency <clears throat> to feel, no, no, I must clean everything first. And then, then you put the self as, a, as somehow some kind of award at the end of your, of your hard work of cleaning your mind, which you cannot do. And then you who have done it now, become the deserver. Who can deserve the self? The self means absence of you. <clears throat> so subtle, subtle are the ways of the mind. You see, so when you say like that, uh, yes, um, it is still some strands of the sense of a person. Of course, the sense of you and me being here and all the people being here. It's a sense. It's not nonsense. <laughs> it's a sense, it's a way the consciousness is playing all of this, you see? But it should not disturb you, mm. you see? You have to go beyond this and see, yes, of course, they appear within the lens of, abs of the Absolute, all of this. Am I in front of the lens or behind the lens? Are you merely an object in the lens of the Supreme? Or are you behind the looking through the lens? The lens is the field of being, the sense I am, the field of consciousness, which makes the play of learning, of seeing and perceiving, all of this is functioning in front of you. Who is the ultimate perceiver of all of them? Is it not you? <coughs> So this is something you see you could clear up today. Hmm? If you see, 
I don't have to get rid of, I don't have to sweep this house completely clean. Because the house and the apparent one living in it, you know, are both seen, actually. And the one who is seen living in it is only a tenant, is not really a landlord. But can you accept this? Or is there something more than this? Something more interfering or I feel like I do see that space, and I do know that space, and I see that that's me, because everything manifest passes in front, mm -hmm. and at any moment, at any moment, that bigger space can always be seen. But then, is what the sees the bigger space? Another space? What is seen the bigger space, the greater space? Some entity is seeing the greater space. You, this uh, actually all the questions are your questions. Are you someone seeing the great space? Because your body language says, you know, I can see. You locate it, even. Mm. Hmm? I can see the great space, but you are the seer of the great space. Hmm? You must assert your own identity. Who are you? Are you apart from the great space? This we must sit and contemplate a little, look. You know. Seeing, seeing of the sensing of the great space. There's the great space is everywhere, right up until here. Then, uh, right up there. <laughs> the seer of the great space. What is the size of the seer of the great space? What is the shape or the gender of the seer of the great space? It's a very subtle thing, you see. Hmm? You know any question more intimate than this? Because it's not a question that will be satisfied merely by some concept. You see, it is directly pointing at something. What the finger is pointing at, can it touch the thing it's pointing at? In what direction is it? Hmm? Are you with me or am I on my own? Oh, very good. Yes. Who is there? The seer, that which sees, even the great space. Hmm? Can it be introduced? Hmm? Can it be photographed? Purer than the oxygen you breathe. Dis distance less. Even when you say I, it arises in front of it. Don't give this to your mind. The altitude is too high for your mind. Who is here? Hmm? Is 
Is it not you? But you in a way that you have not thought of before. Not Mr. So and so or Miss So and so. He has no nationality. Has no religion even. This very meeting is like the Bhagavad Gita. From the outset, you are discovering the truth. But if you are not able to embrace it, we will have to carry on. Hmm? It is like this sometimes. The truth is sublimely simple, it is here. But we don't want it yet, because we prioritize our personal desires, give it more weight, because you want to invest more time in time, rather than to be established in the timeless, which is one's real fact. So potent, so powerful. Hmm. Because we feel somehow that you can find something of greater worth in the field of phenomenality. What a trick. Surely a part of this great play of life is to transcend the voice that presents every trick. Why? Because within you is the capacity to do so. Who are you in the light of this kind of introspection now? Hmm? Where is the evidence of you? Are you material or immaterial? Farm or farmless? Can you bear your farmlessness with form? Thank you.